हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज पी सी रेंस ग्रामर लेसन ट्वेंटी पिक्चर कॉम्पोजिशन एंड कॉमिक स्ट्रिप एंड दिस इज आर लेक्चर वन पॉइंट्स टू बी कवर्ड इन टूडेज क्लास मीन्स द थिंग्स वी आर विच वी आर गोइंग टू डू इन टूडेज क्लास आर नंबर वन इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ पिक्चर कॉम्पोजिशन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इट विल बी इंट्रोड्यूस्ड दैट वट इज पिक्चर कॉम्पोजिशन पॉइंट्स टू बी केप्ट इन माइंड ओर द रूल्स विच गवर्न वेन वी कंपोज अ पिक्चर ओर वेन वी डिस्क्राइब अ पिक्चर एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ पिक्चर कॉम्पोजिशन पिक्चर कॉम्पोजिशन विल बी एक्सप्लेन थ्रू टू एग्जाम्पल्स एट लीस्ट मीन्स हाउ टू डिस्क्राइब अ पिक्चर एट लास्ट होमवर्क विल बी असाइंड देर अ पिक्चर विल बी गिवेन and you will have to describe the picture in your rough notebook what is picture composition now i'll explain you what is picture composition picture composition is about looking at a picture and trying to understand what it conveys and then describing it in one's own language i repeat picture composition is about looking at a picture and trying to understand what it conveys and then describing it in one's own language picture composition as the saying goes means as the proverb is also there a picture is worth a thousand words means a picture can tell about it many things a picture can tell about itself many things means it words a thousand words that is a picture can tell a story as effective as a large number of descriptive text or can convey ideas more effectively than many words a picture can tell many things about the things which are given in the picture so a picture is worth a thousand words it can tell us what a large descriptive text a large number of descriptive descriptive text cannot even explain so with the help of picture we can convey ideas more effectively than many words it develops the skill of observation and enhances the ability to analyze a given picture and write about it when a picture is given and you are asked to describe that picture then it develops your observation skills because first of all you observe the picture then it enhances the ability to analyze a given picture then you analyze the picture that what is there in the picture what can you write about the picture and then it enhances your writing skills also for setting so which kind of setting is to be done while describing a picture using the w's the setting tells the reader that the time about what time the picture is is it of morning time or evening time afternoon or night or is it the time of festival is it the time of something else place whether it is ground home school or whatever the place is and main character of course the here character can be any object character can be any person 
who or what is playing the main character in the picture given to you so here while explaining while describing a picture you need to keep these three w's in your mind when where and who then you can explain your picture more effectively more efficiently now how to plan a picture composition planning keep the following points in mind while attempting picture composition first of all your first and foremost work is to look at the picture carefully look whatever things are or whatever objects are given in the picture try to find out what it is trying to tell so you need to look at the picture you need to understand analyze what is there in the picture what lesson are you getting from the picture or what can you write about the picture then write in your own words what you understand about it first of all analyze that what is there in the picture you can write this is there in the picture this is that in their picture then what is the use of that why is it used or how why what those things happen look at the picture now see how the picture has been described now children i am taking an example that how to describe a picture in the best way or efficiently and effectively please read this very carefully so students here i'll show you a picture i'll give you time to analyze the picture to see what is there in the picture it won't take much time to check what is there so this is the picture you have 20 seconds to check what is there in the picture just analyze it you can see there is a flag students are saluting at uh, because uh, the principal it seems that the principal of the school is hoisting a flag flag of our country india there is school building just behind the students who are standing over there in front there are trees and the weather is so pleasant on the day when the flag is being hoisted by the principal now you might have understood about the picture what is there you might have concluded what can you write about the picture in picture description now let's see this is a picture the principal of the school is hoisting the flag of india the children standing around are saluting the flag there are the students of the school they are saluting the flag when the principal is hoisting it and this is the flag of india this you can see very carefully that this is there in the picture this is the only thing which is given in the picture now what else can you write about the picture it seems that the national festival is being celebrated in the school now before we go further i would like to tell you one thing we have national festivals that we celebrate and generally we hoist our flag on the occasion of national festival say it be independence day say it be republic day or gandhi jayanti so the day on which this flag is being hoisted this can be the national festival one of the national festivals 
then it is written flag is hoisted on the national festivals so here you can give your own observation your own imagination whatever you think you can write that also that flag is hoisted on the national festival so it seems that the national festival is being celebrated in the school looking at the national flag instills a sense of patriotism in us and encourages us to do our best and improve the lives of the people of india instills means gradually but firmly establish in a person's mind a, an attitude which is gradually but firmly established in a person's mind so the national flag it firmly establishes a sense of patriotism in us now the meaning of patriotism is the quality of being patriotic or devotion to one's country devotion for one's country when we are being devoted to our country that is called patriotism in hindi it is called desh prem so when we look at national flag it fills us with the sense of patriotism in us and encourages us to do our best always and improve the lives of the people of india now that was first question we are going to do second question the question is look at the picture and see how plastic bottles and other garbage are disposed of in water bodies with ideas from the pictures below and also your imagination write a paragraph describing how pollution is caused due to improper disposal garbage so here in the picture you might have idea that what will be there in the picture that i will show you that would be about the garbage and plastic bottles uh, which and the disposed where the garbage bottles and plastic bottles which are disposed of in water bodies so you need to write about that now i'll show you the picture this is picture 2 because this is question number 2 so this is the picture you are supposed to look at the picture very carefully that what is there in the picture you can see there is a lot of garbage there are plastic bottles plastic bags the garbage of factory means the waste of factories you can see that there which which is thrown on the bank of the river you can see a very big ship on the in the river which is going somewhere and at the bank of the river also there are many ships you can see that now we are going to describe this picture for the last few decades first of all introduction of the picture what is there will give that introduction for the last few decades plastic has changed our lifestyle decades is a group of 10 means for last many of the 10 years means multiple of 10 years that plastic has changed our lifestyle plastic bottles plastic bags containers disposable plates and glasses etc have made our day to day life easy especially when we travel now here you can see one positive thing about plastic things are is given what is that plastic bottles plastic bags containers disposable plates and glasses etc have made our day to day life easy especially when we travel
means this is the good thing about that that these things are making our day to day life easier all these have however resulted in an accumulation of a huge file of a plastic is composed of toxic pollutants causing great harm to the environment now this plastic that we use generally we throw it somewhere we don't actually first of all the plastic should not be used number 2 if we use it that should be recycled not to be thrown anywhere so it creates toxic pollutants which cause causes great harm to the environment and due to which nowadays people are suffering through it because these plastic things are polluting our air and creating air pollution now that was first question we are going to do second question the question is look at the picture and see how plastic bottles and other garbage are disposed of in water bodies with ideas from the pictures below and also your imagination write a paragraph describing how pollution is caused due to improper disposal garbage so here in the picture you now i'll show you the picture this is picture 2 because this is question number 2 so this is the picture you are supposed to look at the picture very carefully that what is there in the picture you can see there is a lot of garbage there are plastic bottles plastic bags the garbage of factory means the waste of factories you can see that they are which which is thrown on the bank of the river you can see a very big ship on the in the river which is going somewhere and at the bank of the river also there are many ships you can see that now we are going to describe this picture we should use plastic as little as possible now its solution its conclusion is given that we should use it as little as possible and the government should impose a ban on the use of plastic bags because until and unless the government would impose a ban on the use of plastic bags people won't stop using it so first of all it is our duty to reduce the use of it we should not use much plastic if it is emergency then we'll have to but we should use plastic as little as possible number 2 if the government would impose a ban on the use of plastic bags then everybody would afraid of using plastic bags so this was picture composition of the picture given here now this is the time to assign you homework look at the picture and see how children are playing with ideas from the picture below and also use your own imagination write a paragraph describing how and what children are playing here you can see that i have written write a paragraph in your previous classes you used to describe a picture in points now you are grown up children now you are grown up stu students so from now onwards you are supposed to write paragraph and a descriptive paragraph about the picture which is given to you you need to analyze it then you you are you are supposed to write it you are supposed to do your homework in rough notebook first of all look at the picture check which time is this which place is this and what are the 
children doing is there any elder one also are they playing in the presence of or in the observation of their elder one or are they playing alone how should we play how is playing uh, useful for us how is it important for us why should we go out to play there is a one there is a lady who is doing yoga so you need to write the uses of uh, importance of yoga how are the children feeling everything you should here explain in paragraph thank you